Hey, my name is Edgar. I'm a customer of New York State Solar Farms. Um, this is my solar system. Solar install was January. Everything was finalized. We got the house and I kind of uh, got to talking to the wife. <laughs> so up top, we have about 12 panels on the roof. So it's 36 on the ground, 12 on the roof, so a total of 48, just to get the best we can for uh, the maximum amount of panels. So with the 48 panels we have in total, we have two Powerwall 2s. So it has the two Powerwall 2s. You have the Tesla Gateway as well as the end phase. Um, so pretty much going solar was, is, it was the next step for me. I have the Model Y. Uh, I got the Model Y back in 2022. Um, and I've just been, I guess, researching the different technologies and, and what I can do to offset my electricity. Um, I already have an electric car. Why not go solar and why not uh, just go all in? So one of the things that, that was defining for me and one of the reasons why I went with New York State Solar Farms, other than the battery um, supplier, is that I reached out to a few different solar suppliers and I got radio silence. <laughs> um, I had saw, initially I was like, oh, okay, well, I saw a, a house maybe five minutes around the road that had gotten solar from a competitor. I reached out, I called that number um, that's provided and I got nothing. I left voicemails, I got nothing. Um, and then when they finally got back to me, they were like, oh, we're gonna, we could work something out, maybe come see you in three weeks. And I was like, mm, Sheldon already came yesterday. <laughs> I think the process was really seamless, um, as much as possible. Uh, Sheldon came out, um, he went over the figures with me, he looked at the house, did a preliminary. It was a bit challenging initially just because it's a new construction, so getting the satellite imaging was rather impossible because this was all trees. Um, but Sheldon came out and uh, I forgot the gentleman's name, he came out with the drone, he flew it a couple of times to get, the, uh, get some shots. Um, so that we could put together a system and uh, get it up and running. Um, so the installation process, once we got all the paperwork and on the back end taken care of with permit and all that um, stuff was, was straightforward. Um, the panels and everything were brought in from the, uh, the office over in Medina and they got to it within two days. The, um, the panels are on the roof, everything was installed. Um, a couple weeks before that, they came out and did the the array, I mean the, the ground mount array, so that they could put the panels on, on it. Um, so in a matter of weeks after everything got cleared up, I was good to go. Not paying my electric company anything, other than maybe, what is it, $50 for a service fee, um, is unbeatable. Uh, being able to support my home through any season, even with my electric vehicle, um, which has a rather heavy use, um, is is unmatched. I mean, I think as long as as long as you're able, as long as you think ahead, build a system that is for the future and not just for what you're used to just today. Because the electric company is gonna, the rates are gonna keep going up. Build a system that's a little bit chunkier than what you need. Um, definitely get the battery back up. It, you don't have to worry about a generator, a noisy generator, putting any fuel into that. When I was able to get that bill, and I screenshotted the bill and sent it to my wife, and show, it showed zero um, usage in terms of kilowatts from the supplier. Um, that alone is a selling point, right? Because many people are looking at the, yeah, you're, bu you're buying a system, you're paying the cost, but you're not using electricity, right? So once that system is paid off, it's yours. Um, and even before it's paid off, it comes in handy, whether it's an outage and it's flipping back to you in terms of having battery, or just being able to know that you're off grid. Um, you don't need the power company to, to make sure that you have power, whether that's keeping your food cold, keeping your kids warm, keeping your lights on. So I think it, it's all been a great experience. So being that I have kids, I don't want to be here um, and it's winter and there's no power, right? So I've lost power. The area has lost power about five or six times since I've gone since I've had solar um, and battery, and I've been fine the entire time. I think even if I don't plug my car in, the car is already charged just with those two batteries and with the, the solar I have. Um, I get over 24 hours of, of backup power, right? And that's before the sun comes back up 
to rejuice me. So I really have perpetual energy uh, all the time. As long as the sun's out, I, I, I could be off the grid forever. My neighbors, sometimes I have to ask them, hey, do your, power, your light's out. <laughs> Did you lose power? Because I can't tell. My power, my, <laughs> I, I stay on no matter what. Get the system that, that, that you need for tomorrow, today, so that you don't got to worry about anything at all. If you have any hesitations, reach out to the, the folks at New York State Solar Farms, uh, and they'll get you right.